Welcome to Smeg at Home. I'm Rodney. And I'm Elke Smeg Chef. And we're here today to show you some real exciting recipes that you can cook at home with your beautiful Smeg appliances. So Elke, I can smell something really beautiful in the oven. What yeah. have you been baking? I've been baking a lot. Yes. So when I bake, I bake. I've got three trays of the pistachio aniseed biscuits in there today. Oh wow. Let me get them. Okay. And what function did you use, Elke? Fan force when I do multiple trays. So you can see there, the beauty about our fan force function is that it allows you to batch bake on several levels in a Smeg oven. So whether I'm doing two trays or three trays, I can put all those trays in together and the fan with the heat generated at the back of the oven keeps it nice and even throughout the entire um, oven. So no, no hot and cold spots. No hot and cold. I don't need to turn them. I get them cooked at the same time with no fuss. Super That's easy. Absolutely. Great. And um, so I can see you've got something on the stove top. I so have. what are we um, what are we going to be making with our induction cooktop, Elke? Well one of the Smeg one of the Smeg's favourites is risotto. Smeg being Italian, I couldn't help myself but make risotto. So I've got in the pan already some leeks. So we're gonna make a lemon and leek risotto today. That's great. And why induction? Um, what do you like about induction, Elke? I like the heat control. Yeah. I like it that my whole family cooks and I don't have to worry about my kids burning themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Luke and Finn, they, they, they cook as much as I do because sometimes I'm running late to get home. So they'll start dinner and they make great pasta sauces. They simmer things. They don't have to worry about cleaning too much. If they boil things over, it's a simple wipe down. And also too, I can see that it's instant, like you can turn that heat up and down with That's the press right. of a button mm. and you go from high to low straight away without any problem. Yep, you can so hear what, it So we've got some leeks in there, there's I've butter, leek, garlic, butter, lots of butter, oh, some garlic, I love extra virgin olive oil as well. Mm -hmm. Stops the butter from burning. Yeah it does, it's gorgeous. Now right now it's, it's on number 8, it's just simmering away nicely. Yep. I've got some gorgeous rice from the region of Smith where they're based in Italy. So some arborio rice? It's gorgeous, yeah, yes. arborio rice. And that's the right rice. Right. And why do we use arborio and not any other type of rice, Elke? I love the absorption, it takes up all the flavour that's in the pan, mm -hmm. and then you hit it with a nice warm stock, and it, it just soaks it up. It just smells so amazing, those leaves and the, the butter and, and the oil, just all those flavours really come Wait, to wait till you see this stuff. Oh, this wow. is the best. This is gremolata, but okay. I'd love to hear you say that. Because, gremolata. Okay, so, yeah. what is, so what exactly is gremolata, uh, Elke? So well, it's a mixture of herbs? Or? It is, and this is a dry gremolata. Okay. So this is, oh, the smell now is just really awesome. So I love using this to start my sauce or start my rice and then I finish it with it as well and the flavour goes through it and also when it hits the table it just knocks you out. And I can see there that you can lift it. I can see whilst you're lifting it and what's really great with induction that you can stop the cooking as you're going. So if I want to take it off the heat I can just lift it off the heat mm, and stop straight away that's and, right. it's, and it's instant. That's it. Now I'm going to hit it with some white wine now. Okay so some nice wine. And I want that to evaporate away. Yum! Now it's making me hungry. Mmm, so smell that. Rodney, you gotta smell that. Oh, that smells absolutely fantastic. Yeah, what's it over there? Oh. <laughs> Yum. Now, I'm just gonna pour some hot stock into that one. Okay. So do you want me to continue with the rice yes, and the please. risotto and get me to stir because I know yes. it's a it's a bit of a process. It is low and slow. Uh huh. Okay, and I want you to give it lots of love. Lots of love. Lots okay, of love. like mum. Lots of love. You've lots got to let, let the rice <laughs> jump around the pan. Okay, so and really, we just want to uh, make we just want to make that rice absorb all those beautiful flavors That's and the right. stock, and then. We keep just continually adding as we go. A little bit of lemon zest is going in there and some more butter. And at the end, we're going to squeeze some lemon in. But if you could just keep it moving around the pan. That's great. Awesome. And what's next, Elke? So what, have, what else have we got well, on I don't the menu? Just, I don't just want to give you the risotto. I want to <laughs> give you some swordfish that I picked up from the markets this morning. Oh, that's, and, it's nothing better than fresh seafood, is there? Oh, it's my favourite and it's Friday. But having swordfish, a lot of my mates would think I'm crazy because I'm going to cook these chocolate pots at the same time. So I'm going to have swordfish grilling on fan grill. I've got some garlic autumn vegetables there. There's, they're all going to cook together, and in and what about, 10 minutes they'll and, be done. I mean, I think a lot of yeah, I, I think a lot of people are scared actually combining 
these three types of dishes in the oven at the same time because yeah. we're, we're dealing with strong flavours and it's going to maybe taint our dessert. So, yeah. you know, we can do this successfully in a smeg oven I'm really excited to without show any you. transference yeah. of flavour. Yeah. I'm going to put them in and start them cooking. So I've got the three layers. Mm -hmm. The fan grill, the only one that's grilling is the top. Right. And okay. it's that radiant heat beaming down. So I'm going to put the chocolate pots on the bottom. Okay. So fan grill at 220. Okay, so they go they go in first. They go in first. For how many minutes? They're gonna take ten minutes. Right. And then the vegetables. Yeah. Full of garlic and basil. Mm -hmm. And you can just do your fridge management. Chop up what you've got. Can you chop it nice and small so it cooks at the same time as your fish? Mm -hmm. And then the swordfish, I've got it sitting on those telescopic rails. It's been lightly oiled with extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and mm. some thyme from the garden. So we've got our grill. So I can see here, Elke, you're using all our oven trays. And mm. what's the benefit um, using our oven trays and not using your own trays? Well, the heat moves around the oven really freely, having mm -hmm. the, the trays designed with the holes. Yeah. I love the lip, the handle that's here. There's a little handle that's the front okay. of the tray. And that makes it really easy to grab. Okay, so that handle always has to be at the front. Yeah, the okay. little holes that they put in there, they slip into the telescopic rails. Okay. So if I wanted right. to put a nice crumb on top, mm -hmm. I could just slide it out. Slow it down. Fantastic. So in they go, let's mm -hmm. fan grill. Okay. So I'm going to put the timer on that one. Okay, so let's just put down. An eight minute prompt, and I'll check it in eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes with fan grilling. The direct heat is going to give that swordfish such colour and beautiful moisture. And I suppose the, um, the benefit of the fan grill, I suppose the benefit of the fan grill is that we are getting that radiant heat straight from the top. And people, are, some, some of our customers are concerned that, um, you know, grilling in the oven is messy. But really it's not because we've got our tray right at the top. It's only using that small space to grill. And with the thermoseal system, it actually lessens the splatter in the oven. Mm. And then you've got underneath our vegetables and the dessert cooking at the same time. So multi-shelf cooking, we can get our dinner on the table in next to no time. And it's homemade and it's healthy. And it just takes the pressure off your family meals. So I thought the perfect sauce to go with this dish mm. today is uh, salsa verde, which is green sauce. So in the jug, I've got some parsley from the garden, some capers, some garlic, and I'm just going to blend it together with extra virgin olive oil and a big squeeze of lemon. Wow. So are we going to do that just before we take out the, the swordfish? Or do you, can, you, can you make it now and leave it? Yeah, you can make it now, and it's even great to top over your vegetables. Like if you've just steamed some beans, mm -hmm. you can use it to coat them nicely. So it's a really um, multi-purpose sauce. Yeah. That's, yeah. you know, I, I Pasta, love gnocchi, you know, salad yeah. dressing. And I think, you know, I suppose when people are you know, like steaming, they're, they're looking for more healthy alternatives. And I suppose this type of really light, fresh sauce just mm. elevates the flavours of what you're, what you're that's, serving. That's right, it's not heavy, it's light and lovely and green. So I've got the stick blender, with the smeg blender with the flow blend on, and this makes a really easy dressing. That is so quick. Look how green. Literally took not even 10 seconds. No, this is great. So I'm going to stand that to the side. And I can see you're, us I can see you're using your the induction top as an additional work surface. And that's the benefit because nothing gets hot. That's it. Sometimes I forget that it's actually something you can cook on. Yeah. Because you end up plating up your food. My kids once they wrote on it, hi mum. And it was like, <laughs> don't do that. They left me a little note and they soon went off. Because it is a, such a hard wearing surface, the glass is so hard and it's so easy to clean. And I think that's what I, I absolutely love about um, the induction, it's just the simple wiping it clean. You can look up a storm and literally, mm -hmm. after you've cooked everything, you can mm -hmm. just wipe it down with a, a cloth mm -hmm. and it looks like you have anything in the kitchen. How long can I keep the salsa verde in the fridge for? So if, if I make like a nice amount, mm -hmm. um, how long would you say that can stay in the fridge for? You can put it in a jar with a lid and use it as a shaker dressing. Okay. So it can last like three days. Mm -hmm. You might find the acid turns the herbs a little bit brown the longer mm -hmm. it goes okay. in the fridge. But I love it because Smeg has a lid that we can put on here mm -hmm. and it goes straight into the fridge. Okay. And you can leave it there as your fridge 
management section. That's smelling really good. It is smelling Can really, really good. Can I try it, Yeah, why not? Hopefully all that stirring's been worth it. Mm. A little bit more, love. A little bit more? Mm -hmm. And what's your, what's your sort of tip or secret behind a good risotto? Like, sometimes when you go out, um, you know, I've had risottos which are a little bit dry and stodgy or mm. they haven't, the, you know, they, they're, they're not creamy. They're really, like, yeah. stodgy. So, I mean, I think, you know, what, what's your tip to, mm. to a perfect, beautiful risotto? Definitely heat control. So having the induction, again, backs me up with that one. Mm -hmm. So having heat control where you're not going to get a rapid boil, mm -hmm. letting it be low and slow for mm -hmm. a long time and stirring a really good quality rice. The starch is leak out of the rice, and that's what makes the creaminess. The good rice and the starch, not by adding cream and loads of fat. It's mm -hmm. actually all about the rice and yeah. the amount of love you're doing, stirring it, it jumps around. And I can see I've just stopped stirring there for a moment, and I can see how it's bubbling all evenly in the base, and that's mm. the beauty of induction. You get that, that even heat throughout the entire um, base of the pan. That's it. When it's almost there, Okay, uh, everyone's going to argue how they like their risotto, but how I like mine is I like the rice to be firm but not too crunchy. I like to fill the rice grain mm -hmm. and I love a lot of green things through it as well. So this time of year being autumn, we're just going to use some baby spinach, but you could put yep. peas, beans, Brussels sprouts, it's endless to seafood, create. Seafood, you can do prawns, you anything, can add your zucchini, seafood, yeah. anything that you want to use up in your fridge. It's yep. a really good one, like bolognese, where you want mm -hmm. to put a lot of vegetables into yep. that sometimes. You can do the same with a risotto. And really, it's the last few minutes that we can you just put in those ingredients that don't take a long time to cook. Just put those in yep. at the very, very end. Yep, hero it with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's parmesan. What about parmesan? I love parmesan, <laughs> but today I'm not using it, only because okay. it's seafood. So right, for me, okay. That's yeah. always a debate too, you know, I yeah. I hear a lot of people saying, you know, I oh, don't serve cheese with seafood. That's just and, me, um, but what's next? Yeah. But um, what's what's next, Elfie? So well, what we... we've got three minutes till the swordfish is ready. Oh, wow. So in the plate warmers, I'm going to pull out some plates too. So I've okay. used our beautiful drawers to heat up our plates today. And that's really important, isn't it? Like, um, yeah, hot plates. Hot yeah. plates with hot, hot food. food, yeah. yeah. Keeps it nice and warm, especially when you're having a dinner party, the last thing you want is your food going cold on the table. Well, that's right. It just keeps it warm. And having that warmer drawer, even if I was holding my bread rolls or food I wanted to keep warm, mm -hmm. it's got a warmer setting, it's got a prover setting, mm -hmm. I can dehydrate in it, the warming drawers are I think fabulous. it's a bit, um, it's an appliance that um, I suppose is a bit uh, underestimated, isn't it? Because, yeah. as you say, you, you might be cooking things at different times and you just want to keep things warm. And um, um, I've got to give it more love. More okay. love, a little bit of lemon. That is just smelling fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I want it to smell even better. Mm. So a little bit more gremolata. And so if we wanted to make it vegetarian or vegan, oh. we can just just don't put the butter in. That's right, just use extra virgin olive oil. It's your mm. choice of oils. There's so much information yeah. on what oils to mm -hmm. use for what, but whatever's in your cupboard you can use. That's so that's right. smelling really good now. And very soon we're going to oh, add geez, some. That smells steam. absolutely fantastic. We're going to stew in a lot of the green stuff. Well, vegetables. We what is it? Five serves a day of veggies. That's it. So yeah. get them in where you can. So. And again, spinach takes literally no time no. when it's till it's wilted. Yeah, we just put that down. I'm going to have a sneaky peeky. That fish is looking really great. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try this. I mean, we're really spoiled here at Smeg. Elky, you know cooks up amazing dishes all the time. And, and really what it's about, it's easy. It's, it, you know, cooking's easy, isn't it? You've got oh. to make it, it, you don't, it, it's not complicated. Not You've at got all. a few good ingredients, that's yeah. all you need. Yeah. I, I, I think that's the secret Just behind simple. Italian cooking, isn't it? S simple cooking, really simple. Yeah. So, you know. <clears throat> Absolutely. So here we are at Smeg. So, Smeg at home. Don't forget to hashtag and tell us what you like to cook at home. We want to see what you're cooking and we want to know what you want to cook. So let us know and we can we can do it for you as well. But yeah, just leave any comments below if you want to see a particular cooking function or you know any any uh, tips um, that you want to know from us, how to get the best out of your oven. Um, we're happy to, to answer all those questions for you. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. I know. Now, that's our fish. 
and this down. And how many minutes was that again? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. But I just thought I'd use that grill to give a bit of colour to my vegetables. Okay. And that's what's really great too, that we can move those dishes around in the oven when we take one of those, you know, those, those other dishes out. So I love using the radiant heat from yeah. the top to get colour on my food yeah. and control what I want to serve and how I want to that do it. That swordfish just smells Have absolutely amazing. Have a look at amazing. that. It's juicy, gorgeous, oh. okay? And it's not swimming in a juice. Using that grill rack is the way to go. So it's going to really give you moist, juicy food. If you want colour, then crank it up a little bit more. But today I love this looking fish. It's going to be great with our lemon and lake risotto. It is absolutely smelling divine. It I, smells good. And what a healthy meal as well. It's really healthy and, and fast. Like, you know, everyone working, juggling jobs, juggling everything after, you know, after work. You don't want to have to spend hours in the kitchen. And this is going to give you healthy food. And I noticed that but you didn't turn the, the fish over. No need to turn. No right. need to turn. Okay, so fan grill because the heat gets underneath the fish yep. and that's why we put it on the rack. Yeah, that's so right. So with that um, heat, radiant heat from above, but that fan circulating the heat all around the food, Absolutely. we get perfectly cooked food all, yeah. all the way through. And my hubby even goes one step further and he loves preheating it. We have a bit okay. of a cook off sometimes. Uh -huh. He preheats the tray so that when you place your steaks mm -hmm. on there, it sizzles. Oh, wow. So okay. it's really awesome So you can give well. a bit of colouring to those. Uh, you get those uh, lines, those grill grill lines on the um, on the fish underneath. Yeah, he really likes to yeah. take it one step further. And, and how and how time. easy are those trays to clean? Else, you really just got to soak that in some warm soapy water. I'm just going to throw it in the dishwasher. Right, even yeah. in the dishwasher. the dishwasher. That is fantastic. Sometimes I'll turn the grill rack over and I'll let it sit in some water before mm -hmm. I put it in the dishwasher. But they're really really easy. Really easy to clean. Mm -hmm. Now that beautiful sauce. Was I've got to try this risotto because mm. I just I, I think it looks nearly done to how me. How do you like your risotto? Because Making a mess. I'm going to pour this sauce. Yum. This is really going to be yummy. It's got some really nice bite to it. Does it need more lemon? A bit more salt and pepper, maybe? I think just a little bit more, a little bit more seasoning. Yeah. But we're, we're just there, and it's got that bite that we say al dente. The sauce. The sauce. It's beautiful. That, yeah. that looks South absolutely Verde. Looks so, absolutely stunning. That's so, South again, for Smeg at home. What we use today at our kitchen is parsley, capers, lemon, garlic, and salt and pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. That's absolutely great. And how are those veggies coming along? Well, I like them al dente. So I like them with a little bit of colour, mm -hmm. and you can have control. I'm just going to flip this now to fan, fan force, mm -hmm. because I don't want my puddings to grill. So that's sitting on fan force, but look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I've used this yellow smeg tray, not the deep one, mm -hmm. and I've got my cauliflower cut a little bit bigger because I like to get the edges of that. Nice and brown. I can yeah. see you've got that browning around along, yeah. along the florets there. That but I like my great. zucchini a little bit firm. Firm, yeah. I'm the same. I don't like my vegetables I'm overdone. Pour it all on here. And look how easy that is. That doesn't even stick to the trays. No, and whatever's in my fridge is what gets chopped up. Mm. So, you know, if you've got Brussels sprouts, they're on real grilled this time of year. And what? the colour on them is up to you. So if you want more colour, leave it in there yeah. longer. And that's really, if we wanted to, we could add a little a drizzle of salsa verde or just leave them as they are because you've put the garlic and, and the and the other um, herbs yeah. in there, the basil. I can't help it. I'm such a chef head sometimes. We've got <laughs> salt and pepper going on. And now we can put the risotto. That risotto looks fantastic. Maybe a little bit more. You want it more looser? Um, well, what's your what's your take, Elke? Because a little bit more, little, little bit more. Put it no? over here. I think it looks. Can... I think it looks perfect. All right, let's set this oh, up. Look at that. There we are. Now today, there's lots of lemon because it goes great with the fish. Is that on? And look at that. We've made this in what? Ooh, how, about twenty minutes. And that's our dessert calling us. Oh, the call. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I love it being told what to do. Alright, here we go. Alright, so the oven tells you when it's ready. And look at that. Who would have thought? Okay, fish and chocolate. Okay, so we've got ourselves... I can smell that chocolate. It smells absolutely beautiful. No, like that, that richness of that dark chocolate. And I can't, you know, there's no smell of fish no. coming off that off that dessert at all. No, it's just chocolate, it's raspberries, rich, cocoa. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining yes. us at Smeg at Home. 
Thank you, and thanks for thanks for um, watching us. And I hope um, to see you again soon with our next instalment of Smeg at Home. Eat some of this one, yum.